You are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen. This is the prophet Isaiah speaking about Israel and telling them that they are God's witnesses. Two thousand years later, it is still the case that Israel are an incredible witness to the existence and power of God. How is it then that this small nation can act as a witness of the God of the Bible and his purpose with the earth? Many of the prophecies God makes relate to the people of Israel, the nation God describes as being a treasured possession to him. The story of the nation of Israel begins with a man called Abraham. God called Abraham from his home in Ur and promised him and his descendants a home in the land of Canaan, the modern day land of Israel. The history of Abraham's descendants, the Jews, is recorded in lots of detail in the Old Testament of the Bible. Having been saved out of slavery in Egypt, Israel were given laws by God, found in the books of Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy contains prophecies of invasions by the Babylonians and Romans. In verse 64 of Deuteronomy 28, God tells Israel he will scatter them among all the people from one end of the earth even unto the other and goes on to describe some of the terrible things they would suffer as a race as they try to live amongst the other nations of the world. Jerusalem was besieged and destroyed by the Romans in AD 70, and then in AD 135 the Jews were expelled from Jerusalem, fulfilling the prophecy made in Deuteronomy. Although God punished Israel for their disobedience, through the prophet Jeremiah, God says to Israel, For I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all the nations whither I have driven thee, but I will not make a full end of thee. God would preserve and has preserved his people to this very day. Just as God had promised to scatter Israel, he also promised that they would return to the land of Israel. Jeremiah 31 verse 10 says, he that scattered Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd his flock. This is where we find them today. Although they believe they are there in their own strength, Israel's presence is a witness of the truth of the Bible. Many times in the prophecies of the Bible, we are told of the return of Israel to the land of Israel, having once been scattered across the world. Describing an invasion of the land in the future, Ezekiel 38 verse 8 describes Israel as being gathered from many peoples upon the mountains of Israel. Jeremiah 23 verse 3 says, I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries whither I have driven them. Isaiah 11 verse 12 says, He will raise a signal for the nations and will assemble the banished of Israel and gather the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. This is just a sample of the prophecies which are given in the Old Testament relating to Israel and their return to the land promised to their forefather Abraham. On the 14th of May 1948, the state of Israel was declared and prophecies from thousands of years ago were fulfilled. The Bible prophesied that the nation of Israel would be scattered from their home, but would also be regathered. This incredible witness we can see with our own eyes. Truly, Israel are God's witnesses.